we heard this week that J.P. Crawford was dealing with kind of a soggy shoulder. Uh, any update on, on how J.P. is doing? Yeah, you know, his shoulder is less soggy than it was before. <laughs> he's He's been able to, to DH. He's going through his morning routines. You know, we don't anticipate it's going to be a, a very long layoff and, and really no concern long term. I feel like, you know, while he might not play shortstop today, it's it. There's to say it would be shortstop tomorrow or in the, the very near term is, is probably an accurate way to put it. What is that's great news and good to hear. As I was trying to figure out with Crawford, what is your ideal hitting profile for him, if that makes sense? I mean, what kind of hitter do you guys want JP to be? You no, know, like a, a manager of the strike zone, and that's what JP does. I, he does so many things that are subtle and, and, and go on team. And, you know, what's the ideal? The ideal for any player is to hit the 100th, you know, percentile outcome of what their skill level suggests they're capable of. And, you know, JP is capable of running an on-base average above the league average, which he's consistently done. Make good swing decisions, high contact, you know, keep the strikeouts low, draw an above average walk rate, two things that he does. We see the best place for JP is near the bottom of the order, you know, effectively creating traffic as the, the lineup turns itself around, working his way through his career to figure out where he fits in the one through nine. Uh, mechanism because he is an on-base guy. There's some appeal in the leadoff spot. There's also an appeal in having that near the bottom of the order. You know, we don't anticipate or, or expect JP to go out and hit 25 homers. Uh, I think JP goes out and he hits you as 270, is 280. He gets on base, you know, above league average and and plays good shortstop. You know, it's a, and whatever he gives you in terms of slug is a bonus. But you know, the rest. He can hit. He's got a good swing. He uses the field. He takes his walks. And and at the end of the day, like you've seen to this point in his Mariners career, you know, it typically adds up to about a league average offensive player with a little different profile than, say, a Julio Rodriguez or a Gino Suarez.